Mr. Dale Brooks, I am back. Do I have to say more? My daughter pretty much clarified. <laughs> Why the hell did you bring me up to the stand? Pardon my language, Judge. <laughs> Absolutely boggles my mind. Absolutely boggles my mind. Once, twice, three, four, five times. They brought my children's names up. They addressed concerns. I just, your arrogance and your behavior is just pathetic. On that behalf, though, I am here on behalf of not one, not two, not three, but four children. I'm not going to testify and tell you all the particulars and injuries of what happened to my children. We saw that on the stand. I'm not going to tell you about the stress of how, as parents, we had to suffer and continue to suffer day after day, taking our kids to appointments, having a healthy mind and soul. But you know what? We're doing a darn good job. I say this with a heavy heart. I have my kids here. I have my kids here. Grayson, as Charlotte says, had an open compound fracture. We know how an open compound fracture happens, Mr. Brooks. You could have stopped. You saw the darn exhibit. <laughs> we, you saw that exhibit of my daughter. You saw her. And your expression is unacceptable. Your behavior has been unacceptable. Emotionally as a mother, you have to go one way or another. You have to, let me just start off by saying, as Charlotte knows, there were two calls that came to me that night and I couldn't, I couldn't put everything together. I was just like, what is going on? That third call, my mindset changed. I couldn't cry. I couldn't get mad. I couldn't, I had to fight for my children. Their father and I had to push forward. Do we have time to worry about our own feelings? Oh boy. <laughs> we still are working through that. I am working through that. But you know what? I won't show them weakness. They are on a positive road, mentally and physically. My son Grayson loves soccer, can kick that ball in any direction. And now he's still learning to walk and run in a consistent manner. Alice, as Charlotte mentioned, whose passion was dancing, has sorrow now. She hasn't been, she hasn't made it back to dancing yet. Vivian, the youngest, as you saw in that exhibit, as I s spoke, is the life of the family, joking, living it up when you broke her tailbone and she was unconscious at Children's Hospital for extended time. You did that, Mr. Brooks. This is on you. But these kids will not be weak. Their family will not allow them to be weak. They are going to strive for success with what you put them through. Again, I, I want to limit any like injury, things of that nature, because you know what? They're striving. They're doing great. And I can only hope that they continue in that manner in a positive nature. What I do want to thank is a few people. Jeff, who helped Charlotte that night. Um, both Officer Ryan with Waukesha, I'm using their first names, Officer Ryan who did save Grayson's life, Officer Ryan from Pewaukee who did drive um, Grayson to the hospital, the other fellow dance families who have slowly and surely advised me of their personal connections they had with my four kids that night, that I can't be thankful, or sorry, I can't 
I'm going to be forever grateful there for their love and compassion. For their grandparents who had to watch our two other children <laughs> while two of them were in children's hospital for extended time. And for my sisters who were my heart and soul during this whole time, helping my family move forward, trying to figure out how we move forward with four children being injured. I do have, in closing, as I mentioned earlier, I do say with a heavy heart, my hands are shaking, sorry. I do have a heavy heart because I do have my children with me. But as Charlotte has said, um, my brother, who unfortunately passed away two months before this event took place, always told us kindness will take you far. So to those who unfortunately are not with us, I just would like to read the following. I watch you every day. I am always very near. I know deep down in your heart you realize that I am here. I hear you when you speak to me, when you are on your own. You cannot understand the reason, the reason that I am gone. I will never leave you. I am here to keep you strong. Talk to me, I hear you. We share an unbroken bond that will always be. Death won't keep us apart, for our love is forever. Just remember me in your heart, and one day we will be together. Live your life and live it full. Don't waste a single day. Remember, I am always with you every step of the way. And as it has been said before, we do have angels looking over us. And my children now have six more. Thank you, Judge. Thank you.